Hey everybody. Okay, day 17. All right, so our colors for today are white and oh green. I do love, as you can see, I do love white and green together. So that's a great combo for me. Um, all right, we had collage and artist choice. Okay, and you know what? Um, I have been wanting, I said this in the last video, I've been wanting to do paper dolls. I've just been waiting for, I was actually waiting for the people card to come up. But artist choice will work. We're going to do paper dolls. And we're probably going to go over because I'm probably going to make a bunch. I do love to make them. And then we're going to use a ticket or tag with it or on it. And some bling. I can do that. I can make some blingy people. All right. So we're going to make paper dolls. Um... I should have grabbed some of my other ones. I have some big ones that have hung on my wall forever. And I think they're actually hanging in the real art studio. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't grab them, didn't think of it, so we're just gonna go. All right, so, paper doll. <laughs> Let's grab this, because we need, oops, we need some heads. All right, so we're just gonna grab some scrap paper. Doesn't matter what it is, so we're gonna use some of these old forms. And we're just gonna start by slapping on some heads. I'm just gonna leave the stack here because I'll tell you what, we'll just slap on as many heads as we like. Because there was a page of heads in here when we were flipping through last night. Um, you know what? I need to make sure we're in frame because I've moved the camera several times. Okay, there we go. So there were some heads. And um, like, that would make a gigantic paper doll, but that'd be really cool. But way too big for what we're doing. But you just need heads. And they can be any kind of heads. You can do them from stickers. You can do them from the Tim Holtz people and just cover up, you know, the body or make your own body. Um, that's kind of small. Oh, that one I kind of like and don't want to just take the head off. Let's look for some that are just heads. Um, you can do them for magazine heads. The ones I have that are huge that are in my office. Oh, see, these are cute, but they're already kind of paper dolls. Here we go, heads. These are some weird, <laughs> these are some weird heads, but we're going to do it, y'all. Okay, so let's go with an angel head. Why not? So you're just going to slap your head <clears throat> onto a piece of paper, and you're not really going to worry about anything. The paper is just to give you something to build off of, so don't worry about what it is. Let's do, uh, let's do one of these creepy heads. So, let's, let's do this one. <laughs> All right, uh, cre oh, you know what? Let's put that head down a little bit. So, we can put up something above it. And then let's do an animal head, and let's, you know what? Let's do this. Um, let's do this one. Let's do this one. It really doesn't matter. I'm acting like it matters. It really doesn't. And I'm going to put him down a little bit just in case I want to add a hat or something. Okay. So there's three. Um, I know they only make two, but we're going to make two today. I keep knocking this chalkboard over. I seem to have moved something and that's not working as well. All right. So we've got three this time instead of two. I'll put the forms back, and so now that we need to grab just a pen, pencil, something, we'll just use this Sharpie, because now you have to do their body. So off this shoulder, I'm gonna do some shoulders and make him a little thicker, because his head looks like he needs a thicker body, all right? But she looks like she would need like a, a tall, thin body. You know, she's kind of angelic. So let's give her a body. All right. And then um, let's give him kind of a short body. Because, yeah, let's give him kind of a short body. All right. So we've decided on our body shapes. We did not set our timer. All right. Set our timer. Now cut him out. Now, um... I'm going to cut out their bodies, but on this one and this one, because I might want to add a hat, I'm not going to cut off the top. If I don't add a hat, I can always do it later, but, and I'm going to cut off a little bit of this blue 
edge. Okay, so I am cutting these out. I'm going to leave a little at the top to add a hat if I decide to. I originally said I was going to do this on this guy and the wolf. Guess what? I forgot to do it on the wolf. That's okay because um, you'll see at the end, I don't think you really needed it anyway. Uh, the angel, I'm just going to cut out completely. Um, because those, the wings had come up almost like a halo around her head anyway. I do love doing these, um, so I am going to make a bunch more. But I think what I'm going to do is just as I make them, I'm going to post some more pictures. I also have the original video from my birthday bash, oh, so many years ago, I can't even remember when, where I made these the first time. I'll try to remember to link that uh, video in the comments. If it's not down there, somebody say so, and I'll, um, I'll add it. Sorry, fussy cutting's always slow. Alright, so almost and two down, one to go. Like I said, I originally said I was gonna leave this and not cut his head out. If you wanted to leave a hat, just do it like you did like I did on the monster head. Um uh, but I completely forgot when I got to cutting this out. Uh, because I was already thinking about what I was going to do for my collage. And I remembered I have a box of scraps. There they are. The base for our dolls. Um, I have this box of scraps you're going to see now. And this is my collage scraps. They are some of them tiny. Some of them are full sheets. And I'm just going to go through here. And anything that's got green on it, I'm going to pull it out. I also pulled out black and white because I do love to put black and white in my collages. I feel like it makes the any colors you add just seem a little more vibrant when you have black and white in there. Plus, I just love the pattern. So you can see me digging through trying to find green and white. You can also see um, this is a small box. But it has got so much in it. Some of these papers I made, like that black and white one you saw, it was just India ink and mark making. Uh, some of these are printable, some are scrap paper, some are painty or collage papers. The ones I've trimmed them, I had excess and I just stuck them in here. You never know what you can use again. Some of these I'm pulling out actually have more than just green and white on them. And I still like it, and I think that still worked. Um, I think by the end, they don't really scream green and white. Um, but I think you don't really notice the colors that much anyway. Uh, because I think what you really notice is the faces. But when we get there, you tell me what you think. I pulled those out thinking I would put them on there, um, but I forgot to use them. They're just like little buttons and 3D things, and I just completely forgot about them. That's a piece of painty paper. I'm trying to show you the brush marks, but I don't think you could see them. I was going to use that to clean the thing, but I love the look of that. I'm totally saving that. It's going to become something. I decided I liked how that one was starting out too, so I saved it. And just got one out of the trash to use. I didn't like it as much. I 
All right, to do the collage, I'm just gonna use matte medium. I do use a lot of matte medium because I want these to be pretty durable because I'm not gonna put them on anything and that's a pretty flimsy piece of paper. Um, I'm also showing you how easy it is to, when you have these ceramic um, palette dishes to just pull paint, um, matte medium, whatever you've got in them out and start clean. All right, so my people, my scraps, my matte medium, and my brush, we're ready to go. I decided I wanted to put little necks on them so that they looked like the heads were, like, like it was clothes, you know, and the heads weren't just being covered up by the collage. So I did put little neck cuts for them. I also put a ton of matte medium. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of different weight papers here, but if you have a lot, you'll see I have some problem with the paper starting to slide uh, because I had just so much matte medium. This one, that little painty paper was so heavy, I decided that I really needed to put a little glitter glue on it, but I liked it and I wanted to use it. I'm showing you there that the bottom of her um, wings right around her head almost look like um, a neckline of a, sh of a sweater or something. So I decided to play that up and put the um, paper around the bottom of that. I actually didn't get up high enough with this piece. I thought I had, but I think when it slipped right there, I didn't go all the way back up. In the end, you'll see me um, trim it again to get that neck fixed. Um, and then also I used just my pen to fill in. So if you do have places where you think it's filled in and at the end you realize they aren't, you don't have to go back and collage again. You can just doodle in it. All right, now I'm just filling in here, there, and yon. And uh, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Just cover your back paper. All right, that's a piece of um, tissue paper that I have a plate from a newspaper where they would print the, the uh, crossword. You're gonna see me at the end use that piece of tissue just over her whole body. That's one of my favorite things to do is take that um, newspaper print and put it on tissue. I've also got some deli paper that I had paint splatters. See, there I go. I love doing that. It gives me a cohesive look. And then also the, isn't she cute? Um, the pattern on top kind of gives it all, it just makes it look cohesive. I like it. All right, now finished collaging. Um, what I've decided is a werewolf. I, uh, I don't know, he's not saying, but I feel like he's got too much character in his face just to be a wolf. It, this I keep trying to put down and it doesn't look right, and I finally realize it's because it's upside down. <laughs> I'm looking at the back side of the paint. That's much better. All right, now creepy guy, I'm trying to decide on a hat, and I love that. It almost looks like the hair from the Bride of Frankenstein, but I decided to cut it into a dunce cap. Um, and I also was saying that I probably would put some bling at the bottom. I did. I loved that idea. All right, here I want to make him a neckline. And I want to cut a little V there for his head. Uh, I wanted it to look kind of like a collar on a shirt. But it looks more like the collar on a robe. Uh, but at the end, I do like it. I'm trying to decide if it if I needed something between his head and um, the collar. And once I actually go to try it, I realize it makes it, it cuts off his head like it's in front of his chin. And I didn't like that, so I took it back out. All 
I do have a little trouble getting that to stick because it's so thick. Um, but I'm actually, in the end, I'm glad because then I decided I want to layer all the other papers under it. And I do like how that looks. Because, again, it's supposed to be like a collar. And the collar sits on top. I love that little black and white. I decided that was his ruffle and his clothing, whatever this is. <laughs> tunic I don't know uh, but I do like it it does kind of look like a, a shirt ruff and I'm just sliding all the papers up under and around it so that it stays in the foreground and just smoothing away that extra matte medium I had matte medium all over me by the finish um, I also was liking the fact that everything was kind of looking balanced. Once I put that pink and green on each shoulder, um, I just kept wanting to repeat that by every time I put something on the left, put it on the right. And that's what I'm doing there. I'm trying to decide about putting that piece at the bottom. I decided I did like it, um, but it needed to be kind of in the center and it wasn't long enough. So I did the same thing. I just got another piece cut it in half, put one on each side, and uh, and I liked it. I found that little punched piece. It had a hole punched out of it. I decided it looked like a button uh, buttonhole, so I decided I'd put it on his collar, and when I add the gemstones, I will add one to the center of it. And there's those little pieces on the side. All right. And with that, I think he's done. Um, all right. I just have to let them all sit and dry. They are really, really wet. And I didn't want to use the heat gun on them for fear that they would um, curl up. But aren't they cute? When um, I'll cut them out as soon as they're dry. And that's all I was showing you is the back where it's kind of gone every which way. And, of course, cleaning up my mess. I'm so messy. Um, I also realized I forgot uh, the tickets. I was going to put tickets. The, I was checking the cards, and I realized I was supposed to have bling and tickets bling I had planned for, the tickets I had forgotten, I was going to actually use some of those big tickets as part of their base of their body, but I didn't, so not a big deal. Um, I will just um, add some little ticket decorations to them. Also, I decided to go in and make a card that says paper dolls because I want to do them again. All right, here I am trimming all that excess off now that they're dry. I did leave, leave them to sit for a good couple of hours. Um, in the end, I did also use the heat gun, but just to get the core paper good and dry. Um, they were dry to the touch on the front, just not on the back. All right, so what you wanna do is just turn them upside down, cut off anything that hangs over that original shape that you made. Um, I will say on this, when I was cutting her out, I did realize that her neck wasn't quite right. Uh, so I just used my pen to kind of trim that up a little more. I mean, my scissors did <laughs> trim that up a little more and my pen to fill in the difference. And when you get to the hat on this one, just know all you have to do is just cut it from the front. Um, that's it. You'll see me cut the, all of the collage from the back and then in a second I'm going to realize I didn't cut out his head. Uh, his hat. I, can't, I don't know what my words problem is tonight. It's late again y'all. But I wanted to get this finished. And I realized I had also not cut out all the blue around that one ear. Alright, so, 
there is just giving you a close-up of how they look just cut out. Um, and now I'm going to add their tickets and bling. And I think I start with the bling. And I, I kind of, once I got the bling going, I really um, thought it kind of looked like buttons everywhere. So I put that one there that I had planned for. That was the only one I planned. And then um, I decided that I love those pearls for her. And I put them all down the front of her, I don't know, gown, robe, whatever it is. Uh, so that it would look like pearl buttons. And again, I just love them. I did have a little bit of trouble getting them evenly spaced because they're so little that by the time I moved my finger to be able to see where they actually ended up, <laughs> they were kind of almost there. So I really needed to use tweezers for that. I decided to put them across the bottom of his hat and I uh, tried a bunch of different ones, but I finally decided that I would just match the ones that I, the one that I used on his collar. I didn't have enough of the little ones, so I had two colors that were really close, one that was brown and one that was a dark yellow. So I just alternated them so that it would kind of look like a difference in how the light was hitting them. All right, you see me put that one up there um, at the top of his hat, but in a minute, um, I don't like it as soon as I put it there because you don't really see it. I loved everything else about it, but that one just didn't have the pop that I wanted it to have, but I'll fix it in a minute. And now I decided to just go with clear rhinestones for Wolfie. All right, so we're done with the rhinestones. Now we need to add the tickets or tags. And um, I'm just gonna get the little bitty mini ones from Tim Holtz because I'm just gonna use them like more decorations on their clothing. I meant to actually use them in the collage and forgot. So this is a good thing, but I actually like the way they turned out and I wouldn't have done it otherwise. So like at the bottom, I decided to make those tags like the the trim on the bottom of her dress um but i i uh also decided to go on and just put some numbers in there like they were i don't know like some kind of printed i, I don't even know how to describe it um all right here i've decided that i don't like his hat like that it's just too plain i had more of a pom-pom in mind when I cut his hat. So I decided that if I got one of those bigger tags in the round, uh, that would be cute. And then uh, the two that I put on the wolf, I just was going to just make them pockets on his dress. And I was trying to, on his dress, on his body. And I was trying to decide where to put them. In the end, I decided to make them his feet. I love them. I love how these tags just added such cute little details. And again, I would have never done it but for the card. I never would have thought of them. And they're just super cute. Uh, and I think that the paper dolls are a hundred times cuter for having these tiny little tags on them. Tell me what you think though.
I just love those. Too cute. I was I really wanted to find some uh, number and letter stamps, but I didn't think I had any small enough, so I decided to just do block writing. And it works. I also decided that I needed to outline her hair and the details on the wings so that her head had a little more 3D look to it rather than um, her face, hair, and wings all sinking into each other. And I, I do like that. I think it made a great difference in how it looked. Even though it took a while to do all these feathers. Precious trying to get up here, but she purrs too loud to be in my lap when I'm doing a voiceover. All right, here I am fixing that neck. I didn't, um, I didn't consistently get it the same on both sides, and so I just decided that I needed to fix that. And I did have a gap where there was no collage, so I just uh, doodled a little. I don't know, hashtag herringbone kind of look in pattern in the gaps. And I don't think you even notice it. All right. Now, fixing the top of his hat so that it has more of a pom-pom look. And again, I think it made a huge difference in how his hat looked. I just love it. I do wish the pin swirls that I'm going to do in a minute, I wish I had done them before I put the gemstone on but until I put it on I didn't realize that I really needed something there and there's me putting his oh so cute feet on I'm not sure his feet or even where you can see him. I just love how that looks. Okay, so the only other thing I'm really going to do here is um, just outline everything with that black pen. I did that on her um, body as well. I think I forgot to mention that. I'm doing it on his now. I'll do it on the wolves. Um, I, there I'm doing it around that uh, piece that I've got in the middle to look like a shirt ruff. I do love that, how that looks. And he's so creepy. He's adorable. Um, so anyway, I think the pin details kind of just bring it all together. These two take a little while to make, um, but if, if you think about the fact that I think I spent about mm, real time 30, 45 minutes. Sorry, Precious is back and purring. Uh, I think I spent 30, 45 minutes total making them, and I made three, and they're so cute. I think they're worth it. I and mean, I definitely th think you should try making these yourself. I've got an angel, a Frankenstein, and a wolf. Possibly a werewolf. He won't. He didn't tell. All right. So those are my paper dolls. Uh, I know this one was really, really long, but I also wanted it to be not just doing this, but showing you how to make these paper dolls and how cute they can be when you do, because they can be super cute. All right. Um, I'm probably gonna just keep playing and make some more. If I do, I'll just add pictures. Bye, y'all. All right. I know I already said goodbye, and that's usually the end, but I realized that.
you really couldn't see these very well. So I thought I would just do um, some detail shots here. So like, I love his little feet. That's how I use the tags on the wolf. And her, I like two things, uh, I think two things really pulled her together. One, put it, putting that tissue paper with the stamp over everything and the pearls. Although I've got to say, I just love those tags. And then my creepy guy. Oh, my creepy guy. First of all, that is the creepiest face. <laughs> oh, he's so creepy. I love him. I love, I, you know what? I think I love everything about him. But I will say he doesn't give me, these two give me green and white. I really feel like, because I used a lot of the reverse sides on this one and a lot of the black and white. I think he really gives me red, black, and white. Um, yeah, even from the tip of his hat all the way down. Um, but the things I think I love best about him, other than his creepy face, are the, the quote-unquote pom-pom on his head, um, the uh, ruff of his shirt, <laughs> I just love that. Um, and I guess his collar, I just, I love all of that. So I think the the black and white details on him stand out so much because they're my favorites. But yeah, there's actually very little green on him. Um, but I love him. I actually love all three of them. Um, yeah, I think they're pretty cute. So anyway, I know I'd already said we were done. I just wanted to give you one better look because when I was looking at it, I thought, you know, I'm not sure you can see them real well. And uh, I'm holding it by hand instead of having it in the tripod so that I could get a little closer. Bye, y'all.